Mike Gard, good afternoon. Hi, it's Joe. How are you? Happy good. New Year. Good, you too, and many more of them, please, God. Mike, you're protesting outside the RDS this coming Sunday. That's correct. And it's, uh, why? Why? Well, uh, over, I suppose, the last 25 years, uh, I've been dealing with the whole issue of cults and sects and, and therapy groups and, and groups of people who who are affecting the general public. And obviously, one of the people that I'm very concerned about is Tony Quinn and his various uh, activities. Now, most people think of Tony Quinn as something to do with a shop where they sell various health products. But in fact, since about 1998, he's been running trips to places like uh, the Bahamas, to, to Capri, to, to Egypt, where he takes people and they, they sign up for a course for about 10 days, which costs in an average about uh, 15 to 18,500 euro. They pay for their own flight and they get they, they, uh, in their own hotel. And he gives them this, this very expensive course, which they're supposed to revolutionize their lives, help them to think straight, help them to focus on whatever they want to become millionaires or if they want to have a spiritual outcome, whatever they want to do. But we are getting so many reports. Uh, I've got... I've had international lawyers from uh, a, a law firm in the United States. Okay, no, d- d- st- st- stay clear of that for a yes. minute, uh, Mike. But the point is, I don't know who sent us in this document, but it's, it's called a Duco. Happy New Year to you, and let's make it your best yet. It's from Tony Quinn, and it's, it's about, it's an invitation, basically, to this seminar on Sunday. That's correct. Okay, what is wrong? I've, I've read the, 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 the piece. The piece. It's, it's gobbledygook, I can't understand it. Here's the bottom line. I'll give you a paragraph from it. This is from Tony Quinn. Here's the bottom line. We are a small group of people who have made a vital difference to every man, woman and child in a whole country, maybe even for future generations as well. I wonder, have we all truly taken this on board? Tell me, who else can lay claim to that kind of achievement to really be able to say that you have made a difference? How many people can truly say that? I don't know what that means. Well, I think he's claiming that if you do his course, you you know don't read the newspapers, certainly don't listen... To, 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 to Joe Duffy or to anything, you know, the world, you know, is falling apart in Israel. Uh, but, you know, the, if you just focus on your own agenda... I say, these are the words of Tony Quinn, I say, let's make our achievements bigger, better, more, and make an even greater difference. My dear friend, Bill Hubner, owner of Paramount Fitness Company, jokingly will say, he who dies with the biggest toys wins. What does that mean? Well, he's, he's, he's basically saying... Uh, in the in the end, it's those who 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 accomplish and make a, a lot of cash that are the big winners. And he himself has now managed to get himself into position because some of the people that he helped, uh, in inverted commas, uh, thought that because of his uh, thought methodology, they were able to find oil in Belize, and so it's become a big big multi uh, uh, operation now with uh, with him been uh, a director of an oil company uh, of which a number of the people who were involved with it have lost uh, their place on the board and he is uh, I mean conservatively estimated to be in control of about 10 uh, million dollars at the moment uh, due to the oil price coming down but uh, so that there are people who have been joined up this Juco program. I, 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 I misread now this statement. I thought when he was talking about the oil. I thought he meant oil as in the lubricant of life in terms oh, of no, relationships. Oh, no, no, this is real oil. This oh, it's is... real oil. Oh, yeah. He, he, Tony, he... Tony Quinn has discovered oil. No, well, he didn't discover it, but his disciples at the time attributed to him the spiritual power that they, in a very difficult field in Belize, were able to find, funny enough, in a, it's in a community, I'm a Mennonite, and it's in a Mennonite colony that they suddenly hit the, 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 the heavy stuff and it's very high quality oil. And you're saying the people who found, hit the oil are followers of Tony Quinn. They, they were, and there's been a falling out between them. And now Tony is back on his usual. He comes around here. He does a walk down uh, Grafton Street on the 24th of, of December on Christmas Eve. He has a couple of people out at the uh, Hicks Tower out in Malahide, where he has a, an exclusive uh, Martello Tower just beyond our very famous uh, 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 communications guru. Um, and uh, he um, uh, he has his folks, those who especially have been on the trip, come over there, and now he's trying to get his business going because obviously he's going into a falling market. People had plenty of cash to throw around to gurus in the last uh, 
10 years, but now they're going to be looking for... Okay, what would you be saying on your placards outside this Tony Quinn seminar in the uh, RDS? From my experience, it's simple things like breaking families, uh, sexual abuse. Uh, there's going to be a couple of court cases hitting the, the fan very soon. The people have been on to me. Okay, uh, don't, don't, yeah, they're up no, I'm not going to go into any details. They, they're going to uh, make their own case. Uh, uh, it's, it's to do with the use of sexual initiation techniques. It's to do, this has been going on for 35 okay. years. Now, he says also in this, now, now I'm understanding a bit more about the oil references. As most of you know, I don't have a mobile phone, says Tony Quinn, or a computer, even though I am told they are indispensable. Of course, people will say to me, did you see what they're saying on the internet about you, the oil, etc.? My, uh, my answer is always the same. I know myself very well by now, and as a director in the oil company, Know what's happening there also. In all seriousness, why, sh- why would I want to read the opinions of people who know neither? So he is a director in this oil company exactly, and, and, he's, enough, and he struck gold. He struck, he struck gold and he's managed to put himself in a position where very good friends have fallen out and some of them who were the real strong arm of getting this going and who were great supporters of his have her, her emails and I can't attribute this to Tony okay, Quinn at all not, no. but they were taken down well he doesn't have an internet so it can't be his emails well it, 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 it he doesn't, he doesn't have, have a email. mobile I, phone I, I actually oh, send him emails myself and he has a mobile phone because someone just sent me uh, at the number the other day um, but and I, 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 I left him a message you know New Year's meeting say I will be seeing him because this will be the first protest against his movement which has been going since the early 70s except for some early activity in Temple Oak where he uh, had a house co- commune which uh, was okay. reported at the time now ironically we've been trying to get Tony Quinn on but uh, his if you got him on I'll, I'll actually make a donation to Simon Community Martin Quinn, who's, I don't know if he's a relation, general manager of the Tony Quinn operation in Ireland, he's emailed us from their computer to say that you're not getting in on Sunday because it's entirely private. Oh, sorry, Martin Ford, general manager. Martin Ford, yeah, he's, yeah, sorry, uh, he's I, been one of Tony's... But he said that the meeting on Sunday is by invitation only. Absolutely, yeah. No, we have no intention of going in. We want to be outside so that we can appeal to the rational side of the mind of those about to pay up 18 grand because they have to be in a certain mind control situation before, you know, no normal person, when they go into Tesco, they look for the uh, the cheapest milk normally. They don't go for the, the most expensive one. In this crowd, they'll actually pay double because if you go to them and say, look, you're, you know, you're going to be paying up too much money, they'll actually pay double that because their mind has been taken over to such an extent that they, 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 they can't even think straight any longer. Do you think in, in times of recession, like now, people are going to be attracted more and more to organisations or religions or cults like this? I think they will be to cults in general, but I don't think to Tony's specific one, because this is one he's been promoting since September. He's actually he's doing the kind of, you know the way Marks and Spencer's buy one and get one free. In other words, if you've been on one of his seminars, this is one he's going to give back out of the benevolence of his loving heart to the people of... And will he be there on Sunday? Oh, he's going to be there. And I'd say he's got the flights booked. He's not a great man for flying, according to my uh, contact, because I'm now through to the very highest level of his of his, of his organization, people who are leaving. So he is in a very tight situation. My own computers last week... My own website uh, got 2,000 hits per second last week. It's still down. I'm still working with the company to get it restored. Now, again, I can't connect with anybody, but it's interesting that just coming up to the time when uh, the, the battle is being joined, this battle is being got on, as you know, with Tony Quinn. There's been people on your program for years speaking about it, but there's also a, a kind of a funny guru thing, because as you know, you remember the film director, a uh, great uh, uh, man himself from Valley Buck Road. I'm trying to think of his name now. Jim Sheridan. Jim Sheridan. Yeah. Uh, on our website, we have an interview that that he had with Tony Quinn, where Tony Quinn kind of presented himself as a kind of a Jesus figure. I have a number of cases of families who've told me that when they got into the higher levels, he was presented as Jesus Christ. I have a woman who in the early 70s took part in his yoga courses on Baggett Street, and she is now uh, pretty much psychologically crippled due to her involvement with him, which involved 
uh, the same type of activity as used by... Okay, st stay, stay there for a sec with you, Mike Gardner, because mm. I want to, want to bring in John Dignan. John